Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hashtag Truth Indie Wrestling Podcast. I have with me the EWF heavyweight champion, the A-game, Austin Jordan. Austin, how's it going, man? Going great, man. How are you, Scott? I I am doing good. This is about our, what, third or fourth uh, broadcast together. First Sound time you've been... You've been here with my new uh, my new outlook, so I, I hope you love it. We're gonna wait I a like few the minutes, digs, man. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I, I do too, man. I had to had to go out and pay for some stuff, you know. Nothing nothing good comes for free, I guess. I feel you. I got you. <laughs> so you have got an upcoming match with one Eric Anton of the Unbookables. Talk to yep. us about that a little bit. Well, uh, I go from one evil and go straight to another one. You know, I've been dealing with Derek Driver and Myrick Moore and Perry James and then uh, had Josh Powers at the last show. And now it looks like I'm going to be dealing with the Unbookables for a little while. But, you know, uh, I was banged up after uh, Eric attacked me after the last show. But, you know, uh, that's become the normal here lately at EWF and really at three count or wherever I go. Um, but you know what? I'm ready for it. I know that holding two heavyweight titles is, um, creates a big target on my back, but I'm ready. been training, and I'm ready to go for Friday. There you go, man. How'd you – so so Eric Anton jumped you from behind at the last show. Tell me a little bit about that. How do you, how do you feel about that? I know it didn't feel good. Honestly, I didn't really expect it. I mean, I – I haven't had a lot of history with Eric Anton. I mean, uh, it makes me sick what he did to Chris Hammerick um, at, at Star Slam. But, I mean, we haven't had a lot of run-ins. Yeah, I mean, it, we've, we met in the, uh, the bunkhouse brawl, but I was not expecting that. Um, but he did. He joined that list, and now he's going to join the list of people who go down by Austin Jordan. So I'm not worried about it. Joey Godfrey wants to know who's your favorite unbookable and why is it Boomer? <laughs> hmm. That's another show for another day, man. Wow. <laughs> Boomer Payne said more like he was sending a message. Uh oh. Shots fired Boomer, already on hashtag. Boomer Payne, Boomer Payne must love me because as soon as these things start, he is like the first one to comment. Like, oh, he, he stalks you, man. Jordan. Yeah, he stalks you, brother. I, I see that. He he stalks you. He's a stalker. It's all good, man. If you guys have any questions out there for the EWF Heavyweight Champion, please post them up. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes with the champ, so give us your best shot. Hit us up, man. Uh, so this Friday, you're going to be at EWF Almania 3 defending against... Eric Anton, uh, do you have any dates after that? Yeah, so uh, Saturday night I'll be um, at EWF at the Forest City National Guard Armory. Uh, we got Rock and Roll Express two nights in a row. Uh, that's huge. Um, and as always, a great roster at EWF. Sunday I'll be debuting for OSCW in Hanahan, South Carolina, down around Charleston. Uh, big show down there. Um, Tommy Dreamer and Dan Grail are going to be in a steel cage in the main event. So I'm excited to go down there and work with those guys. And then um, then July is going to hit uh, more EWF, uh, Battle Zone Wrestling. Got three count coming up in August. Uh, got Pro Wrestling Turbo coming up in August. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Some you are a busy man. Yes, sir. Woo. Carrying, carrying all those titles around with you, man. I bet, I bet it gets kind of heavy on the shoulders, don't it? A little bit, a little bit. Boomer Payne said this Friday you'll be losing the EWF championship. Yeah. Okay. I, I told Boomer I'd make a bet with him. I'm going to make a bet with him Saturday night, uh, Friday night before this, before this belt, before this match. It's funny. Like every, every show that comes up, I'm going to be losing the match or losing the title, losing the three count championship, losing the EWF championship. <laughs> right. And each and every show I walk out with, with both titles. So I mean, That's it, it. it's just all noise now. So yeah, keep, keep thinking. Boomer. 
Zuka King says, when am I getting an EWF title shot? Uh-oh. Zuka speaking up. Yeah. Me and Zuka are no stranger to each other. I'll take that. Um, I saw Zuka running his mouth today um, on one of the posts, and I'm like, I'll take, I'll take some Zuka. He said, uh, "I'm pretty much. I'm pretty sure you'll take on any anybody who will uh, challenge for the title, right? You're fighting yep. champ. Yep. Yep. Alexander says, "How does it feel uh, knowing you're going to wrestle in front of Rock and Roll Express?" So it's not my first time. Um, I've I haven't been around Robert a whole lot. A uh, couple shows here and there, um, but. Ricky Morton, I've been around him a good bit. Uh, I was spent some time with him down in Georgia uh, last month. Really good dude. I'm looking forward to seeing him again. But man, WWE Hall of Famers. I mean, I grew up watching those guys. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm 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 excited to watch them, but to be able to perform on the same show as them, I mean, that's huge. Jordan Payne said they don't want any of the A game. I don't think they right. do either. That's right, Jordan. Boomer said he had to give you a career. To destroy it oh big words right there yeah that's uh i whatever <laughs> joey godfrey said possession is nine tenths of the law and eric anton has the title belt uh i'm it, not aware of that Godfrey information the unbookables? yeah when did joey become an unbookable i What's mean up with that joey wow i get I guess I'm going to have to look out for another guy coming out of somewhere. Boomer said hashtag facts. <laughs> Did he How you doing, Frank Roof? Right. These guys, these guys are, are, are just, I mean, it's amazing how every time Austin Jordan comes on my show that before the end of the show, we will have every unbookable on here. I guarantee you in the next 20 minutes, we will see all probably six or seven of the unbookables. Frank Roof, stop by anytime, man. Love to have all you guys on here. Somebody asked some questions to uh, the A game, Austin Jordan. That's what he's here for. So, Austin, whoo, man, I'm telling you. So, how long have you been a two title guy? I, 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 I know you won uh, the EWF title just a while back, but how long have you had two titles? And is that the first time you've ever had two titles? No, uh, there was a time when I held um, a tag team championship um, in Georgia, and I was the next level champion for three count uh, last year. Um, nice. But but this is definitely the first time I've held two heavyweight titles. Um, it's been since since I beat Derek Driver for the EWF championship. But since that day, I've had both the three count and the EWF championship, and I haven't lost either one of them so how, however long that is I, all the dates run together i i heard that joshua tesler said the a game is the best champion ewf has had in the past five years i appreciate I, that Josh. I, I love i love the a game a lot but i don't know about five years because there was a year and a half in there where the big man big country was the champion and i, I put them to about the same level man yeah uh, there's been some good champions i mean you know, BB had it for a little while. Big BB, Country. BB naturally is another one, correct? Yeah, BB, uh, Big Country had it before Cruiser. Uh, Cruiser had a long reign with it. But my whole my whole drive to get the EWF Heavyweight Championship was there's just been a lot of junk. I mean, with, with the Unbookables, with Derek Driver and Perry James. I mean, I wanted to give the EWF Fateful something they can trust in, somebody they can get behind because, I mean – not only am I a wrestler for EWF, I'm an EWF fan. I mean, I'm, I'm, I love all, I love all the fans there. I mean, I'm a fan of a lot of the roster. Not all. And we've been a fan of you ever since you stepped foot in the EWF ring, brother. Let me tell you, I, I appreciate it. I just wanted to bring respect back to the championship, and and so far that's what I've tried to do. Alexander wants to know what kind of match do you want to defend your championship in? Uh, I mean. You know, I like one on one. Uh, I'm kind of old school like that. I like just hey, you bring your best, I'll bring my best, and we'll go at it and best man win. But you know, I've done lighter matches. I, I enjoy lighter matches. Uh, a little stressful because 
you know, you can not lose and still lose your title. Um, but, you know, I, I like one-on-one, but at the same time, hey, you want to throw me in a hardcore match or ladder match, whatever, I'm, I'm game for anything. Joey Godfrey says, how does it feel to be the shortest – time defending champ in EWF history. Well, let, let me let me say something before you answer that. Number one, that makes him a two-time EWF champion. Go ahead, man. And what I was going to say is, Joey, it feels great to be your two-time EWF heavyweight champion. Simple as that. Jordan Payne wants to know what's the longest and most favorite match you have been in. Oh, man. Josh Powers and I at three count in April, I believe, we went for a good 25 minutes or so. Uh, that was a that was one of my favorites. I mean, we beat the dog mess out of each other. Um, I not to give him credit, but I mean, me and Boomer in the cage at Star Slam. That's one of my favorites. Um, gosh, there's so many. Um, the ladder match, uh, three months into my career at three count with Ace Armstrong and Jordan Harper, um, JC Harper. That was one of my favorites and one of the most memorable. But man, I could name I could name matches all day. Zuka King seems to be calling you out. He says his title reign won't last long. I'll become the new EWF champion by all means. Hashtag unbookables. I like that. But, hey, Zuka, I understand that you're a heavyweight champion, too, for APW. Um, what do you say you put that up? We'll go title oh. for title. You'd look good with three titles on your shoulders, brother. I'm, I'm just, just saying. saying. I got a waist. <laughs> I got two arms. That's hey. it. Put one around the waist, two over the shoulder. You'd be looking good, man. Joshua yep. Tesner asked, "What? who – would you consider facing the Kodiak PJ Ellis for a belt for your belt? Listen, uh, PJ is one of my closest friends. Uh, we we've trained together. Um, we've, we've shared the road together. Um, we've shared a lot of advice with each other. Um, personal hardships we've shared together. Um, but PJ Ellis is a storm coming through the Carolina Indy scene right now. And hey, if it comes down to it, I mean, I wrestle at three count for wrestling with them too. So, hey, I'm fully aware of what he's capable of. But at the same time, if it comes down to me and PJ, um, no punches pulled. It's going to be game on. There you go. Joey said it's only 48 hours away before you defend it. Now, I have, to, I'm going to put this question up here. I know it's really early. But I, I put all questions up, man. Reagan wants to know when are you going to be retiring? <laughs> oh man, um, <laughs> I knew that I threw you know. off a little bit. That's why I gave an intro. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I mean, I'm just living a dream. Uh, this there has been go. my dream ever since I was five, six years old. <laughs> and uh, man, yeah. If tomorrow is my last day, then, man, it has been a run. But I definitely don't plan on quitting anytime soon, that's for sure. Would you wrestle Jamie Knight? And if so, would you defend your belt? Bo Jackson is, I'm imagining he is becoming the new guy. Uh, he's becoming the new mentor for Jamie Knight. And Jamie Knight is looking to get booked, and he wants to come to EWF, and he wants to come right after you, brother. What is that? What do you have to say about that? I mean. I don't know a whole lot about Jamie Knight. I saw a little bit of his interview on here. Um, man, I'll take on anybody. I mean, you know, you got to earn that shot. You know, earning a title shot is not easy. That's it. Um, so, Bam, hey, Bam said, Austin Jordan, Noah wanted to ask you the way you are and all. How do you feel about being the John Cena of John Cena of EWF, one of the best? I mean, that's. That's a big compliment. I mean, look, John Cena is – he's not one of my favorite wrestlers. He's, he's a big um, name, though. He, he puts butts in seats, man. I, but mean, I, I mean, that's that's a compliment. I mean, you know, John Cena does a lot of great stuff for the wrestling industry. Um, and he's put out some good matches, too. I just watched 
<clears throat> a match with him and Shawn Michaels back in 2004 or five. Um, and it was in London and man, that was a great match. But I mean, man, that is a huge compliment. Um, I, I appreciate it. I mean, I just, I come out there and yeah, I do hear some boos and cheers. Bottom line is I'm the EWF heavyweight champion. I'm there to support. I'm there to, you know, I'm there for the fans. I'm there for myself. I'm there for the roster. I want to be the flag bearer for EWF. And if that means I'm like John Cena, hey, so be it. Austin Jordan, I have to tell you, I just got a phone call. There is somebody here who said you are taking way too much of his valuable time, and he has something he wants to say to you, man. Austin Jordan. Say hello to Eric Anton. So – Hey, Austin Jordan, you just sit there be quiet. I've had to listen to you for the past 10 minutes. So why don't you listen to me for a second? Now, let me tell you, I created the spotlight for you, man. You're going to sit here and take a live video with Scott Larson and soak it all in. That's the way it works, pal. That is not the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. it's funny. It, this is the only way you'll face me face to face. Because the last few times I've seen you, you've come from behind. Friday night's going to be a totally different situation. Oh, you're going you're gonna to look at me face to face? Oh, it's going to be more than face to face. You're going to have to be looking up at me. It's all over seven. You're looking dead up in my eyes while I hold that championship over you. You'll know exactly what it's like to be facing me face to face. Well, buddy, you're going to have to steal it from me because you're not winning it from me. <laughs> look, look, look. All serious. Let's just be serious for a minute. You came into EWF. You've been all over the East Coast. You rode to the top at several different companies. You're champion here and there, but at EWF. The EWF is the only place I'm worried about. That's the company that means the most to me. And let me just tell you, I have been a champion at every company that has come through the area of EWF, but one. And that would be the EWF championship. Now, I'm looking to put things on my goal list, and that is to be the EWF champion. And what I find, I'm a little resentful because I spent 21 years in this business making a name for myself. You walk in and two years later, you're EWF. And you want to walk away like you're talking to walk all of a sudden. Dude, you put in 19 more years, put your body through 19 more years, face everybody that comes within that 19 year time frame. And you're still standing here, you can talk to me about being a champion. Just because you committed a holiday in last night does not make you a champion. So, so you want me to apologize that it only took me two years to get what you've worked 19 years for? You want me to apologize for that? I'm not apologizing for that. I'm not going to apologize 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 Mr. Unbookable. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, you you come on my you come on my <laughs> video and everybody's audio goes haywire. What's up with that? It's every time I do this. Every time. I think it's your equipment, Scott. You're the one that's got the new equipment. You even know how to use it. We were just fine before you came on. I thought the unbookable had money. I thought Boomer paid you guys, man. What's up with this? Can you hear me? Dear Lord. <sighs> I cannot believe you can't hear me. We can hear you, but your cheap phone is very staticky. Very staticky? This interview was going great about five minutes ago. <laughs> Let me let, let 
me help out Austin Jordan and Scott Larson. And help us out. Right? We were doing help just great. Right. Uh, now he now he done froze up totally. <laughs> let, let me let me address so, so something. Answer, while. Answer, answer what he said, man. Answer, uh, address uh, him. Let, let me let me address what he was trying to say. So look, I respect Eric Anton. Before Eric Anton turns back on Chris Hammer, Eric Anton and I had a great relationship in the locker room. I respect Eric Anton. I do not respect the Eric Anton we've seen in 2019. Yeah, I respect the fact that he's been in this business for over 19 years. But don't sit here and blame me for reaching the mountaintop two and a half years into the, into my career. We've never met one-on-one. -on -one, but at Eric Anton, Friday night, you're going to find out why it's only taken me two and a half years to get what you've worked your whole life for. Period. Yeah, I've held championships of the place. I'm just saying that I have not held the EWF championship yet. After Friday night, that changes. You will be looking for a title shot at American Anton. You'll be looking for the unbookable to give you the opportunity if we leave you able to walk out Friday night. You say you're going to be at the National Guard Armory, but I don't know if you're actually going to be able to get in your car and drive all the way up from wherever you live and make it to the National Guard Armory. Then might you may not get to wrestle for the Rock and Roll Express. Uh, you know, that's not my problem. My problem is you want to put some respect back to the championship, but what you do, you put that title on me. And I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna make that happen. Okay. All right, what you got to say? He's he's muted. What do you got to say? It, it seems to be working better when I mute you guys back and forth. But bottom line, bottom line is I'm ready for a fight Friday night and whatever comes to me Saturday night. Bottom line is Sunday when I head down to Charleston, I'm going to have the EWF Heavyweight Championship in my bag. And the next time I show up to EWF in July, I'm going to have it again. I, you can bring whoever you want with you. You can have whoever you want hide in the back. Eric Anton, this is my time. I'm not going to have you come and try to take it away from me. That championship is mine, and I'm putting respect back in EWF, and there's nothing you can do about it, plain and simple. See, the problem here is the EWF championship will be like the Stanley Cup. After June the 21st, I'm going to spend the entire month up until July the 27th. I'm going to defend it to 22nd. And then in July 27th, between that time and then, I'm going to go around everywhere. And I'm going to be celebrating with all the unbookable fans. There's a whole lot more unbookable fans out there than there's some awesome Jordan fans. Scott Larson aside, while he goes, I don't know which one I like most, Big Country or Austin Jordan. Okay. Whatever. Uh, that's fine too. But after Friday night, I'm going to be the EWF champion. You're going to have to be chasing my coattail. And when that happens, you're going to understand what it's like to deal with experience. It's not just if you can get beat or not. What's my advantage? My advantage is experience. I've got way more experience than you. I'm going to work a whole lot less than you do. You're going to End up loser. All right, there you go, man. Hit him, A game. You have a better chance of going to Walmart, buying a replica title, and go showing it off at the nursing home that you hang out at. <laughs> I'm not playing games. No more cheating. So what do you got to say to that, Eric? He said you have a better chance of buying a replica title. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Every gray hair I have is probably going to be a year of experience you don't have. Austin, if guys like you that come into this business get lucky 
I'm not going to take nothing away from you, Austin Jordan. You, you've made your way through several companies to be the best in those companies. I'm not going to take nothing away from you, but you have not faced Eric Anton. You say we don't have history? After Friday night, we will have some major history. Okay, uh, now we're going to bring the A game back on. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I, I mean, I have respect for Eric Anton, but I'm ready. I'm training. I just got back from the gym. I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I'll go to the gym Friday, and then Friday night is game on. Uh, it's no easy task. I mean, EWF is one of the best rosters around. There is no easy night. There is no off night for Austin Jordan. But time in – Time out every month, every week. I prove why I had the EWF heavyweight championship around my waist. And this Friday night, Eric, it's going to be no different. I'm going to prove it again. I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk to Saturday night with that championship around my waist. All right. One more time, Eric. One more time. <laughs> I keep pointing to my crowd back here. You can tell me you have respect for me all you want. I respect the EWS championship. I do not, by any means, respect Austin Jordan. You have a lot to do before you gain the respect from me. And what you need to do, give you a little bit of advice. What you need to do is you need to go out there and you need to find some Eric Anton footage. There's a lot of it out there. And you need to watch all that you can. And it's still not going to be enough. Still not going to be enough. You have not got enough experience to know how to handle someone like me, someone that's unbookable, someone who has the experience and the knowledge that I carry with me over 21 years. That's not good for you, pal. Not good for you at all. So what you need. What do you have to say to that, A-game? I had to cut him shorter. He'd be here all day. Uh, Friday night, I'm going to stick, stick my size 12 boot in his mouth, period. I'm done being cute. Uh, Eric Anton's mine Friday night. <laughs> there you had it. There, you heard it first, right from the champion himself. <laughs> Well, we we have come to the, we have come to the end of our time. So, I am going to wish Eric Anton and the champ A game Austin Jordan a good night. The champ has things to do. Eric Anton is is not important enough for for him to stay on. As a matter of fact, we'll 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 go back to. Uh, <laughs> He's trying his hardest to get your attention, brother. He really is. Let's see if we can get you back up on here. I, I like it better when he can't talk, but you can. Everybody can hear you now. <laughs> Good deal. So you tell everybody where you're going to be in the near future. We know you're going to be at Owl Mania Friday. You're going to be at Legends Never Die Saturday at the Forest City National Guard Armory. Give us, give us some other spots where you're going to be, and we're going to watch Eric Anton pop in the corner while you do it. Uh, Sunday, I'll be uh, at OSCW in Hanahan, South Carolina. That's around North Charleston. Uh, great event down there. Uh, just pay attention to my Facebook. I'll be putting all my events coming up, uh, some Battle Zone events coming up, EWF. Three Counts coming back in August. Pro Wrestling Turbo is coming back in August. And then the fall and winter is going to be busy too. So it's going to be a busy Dude. time. Um, Are you facing Ace Armstrong again when it comes around to uh, three count? I don't even know where Ace Armstrong is. Um, <laughs> he disrespected my father, and I unleashed, unleashed the beat down on him, and nobody's heard from him. So I don't know what three count has in store for me, but um, that title sure is looking good in my house. It sure is, man. All right, Mr. Anton, I'll give you one more shot to say goodbye, brother, and then we're going to take off. You're not going to ask me where I'm going to be at the coming month, Scott Larkin? Uh, no, because uh, the A-game Austin Jordan is going to marry you Friday night. Yes, sir. Well, let me go ahead and tell you. June the 22nd, I'm going to be at Legends Never Die at the Forest City National Guard Armory. 
and I'm going to be defending the EWF championship against whoever Rev Slim wants to put up against. <laughs> and on July the 27th, I'm going to also be defending the EWF championship against whoever anybody uh, Rev Slim wants to put against me. Uh, and then August 24th, I'm going to be defending the EWF championship again against whoever Rev Slim wants to put against me. And then September the 14th, I'm going to walk into the Holly Esco Memorial Cup as the EWS champion, and I'm going to win the tournament, and then I'm going to come back September the 28th and defend the EWS championship again. So you have plenty of opportunities to come see the new EWS champion. <laughs> all right, brother. With all that being said, you have a good night, sir. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he left. How about that? <laughs> Scott, with all due respect, this has been my least favorite interview with you because I feel like <laughs> I've got I've got an earache right now. I mean it's he like came, it's like he came on and all our audio just went It's, it's like it's, if it's you insane. have an unbookable shirt on, you just become the most annoying person on the planet Earth. <laughs> I mean, good lord. I, I must agree with you, brother. I must agree with you. They're wow. all like a pack of rats, ain't they? <laughs> all right, Austin. Man, you know we love you in EWF. We cannot wait. Friday night, come out to Owl Mania at Owl Stadium, 214 McNair Drive, Forest City, North Carolina. The gates will open at 5 o'clock. The action starts at 545. Four big matches. Three of them are championship matches. Austin Jordan defends his heavyweight championship against one Eric Anton, who has left the building. Apparently, he couldn't take the truth because we are all about the truth here at Hashtag Truth. And then Saturday night, you'll be at the Forest City National Guard Armory for Legends Never Die. And we, will, we cannot forget the Rock and Roll Express will be at both show so you don't want to miss that folks the unbookables are going to be there big country is going to be there fighting one of the unbookables so maybe maybe he'll take one of them off your hands for you yeah <laughs> so with all that being said brother you always know you have an open invitation to hashtag truth i appreciate it it was great having you on tonight man thanks for having me have a good night and we'll see all you guys friday night uh almania three all right, you have a good night, and we'll see everybody Friday night.